this channel is specially dedicated to teaching people how they can go about doing their biodigester detailed information as to how and the step-by-step -step approach of doing your biodigester you can watch my videos and be well informed enough to do your own biodigester this video has been done before i did it and presented it here but the language that was used was Pali tree and Pali English language so one of our viewers just recommended that I redo the video again in English complete English this is how we are doing the vegan process this digester was about seven by two and a half feet wide seven feet long and two and a half feet breadth and the height we laid about three feet three feet high This is what we call trench. It is a line that we will put four inches pipe in from this soccer way, internal soccer way, to the external one, which we call it soco. So before the filtrate, that is the water that has been filtered, gets into the sock hole, much of the water will be absorbed because we will cut the four inches pipe we will cut below it making sure that the water does not flow completely to the circle this is how we divided it the internal sock away that is the traditional form of sock away and we have the external one and we are also having our checking point that we call the t-shape pipe or some call it l-shape pipe when there is fault or you realize that your biodigester is not working well enough that is where you use to check whether the problem is from the soccer way or not We are currently working on dividing the digester so one side is for the filtration and the other side is for absorption and we call it suck away the main idea for the division is that we want to separate the water from the food particles within the shortest possible time doing that will not allow scent to remain in the digester the more the water in the filtration chamber the more you are liable to experience bad odor and scent in your digester that was the idea why i brought this initiative to divide your biodigester with suck away inside in order to reduce bad odor and also enhance the absorption of the filters. Unlike other digesters, where that is the waterlogged form of digester where we do not do internal suck away. With this one, we do internal suck away, but with the waterlogged one we just we do not even divide it at all
the main purpose of putting chippings in the trench is to allow the water to be able to soak down it gives the holes that we have drilled inside the four inches some space and allow the water to be able to soak into the land and you cover it with rubber this rubber the main purpose is to create a covering so that the sand do not get into the pipe holes and getting it blocked With some of the biodigesters, we did use previous concrete to divide. Unlike uh, this current video that I'm showing you where we use blocks to divide. The previous concrete serves as an add-on for the filtration process to speed up. I have already done videos as to how I placed each material in the digester and cover it up so you can check my videos out there and make sure you subscribe to to get updated on new videos that i'm going to post here